The icon of sin versus the doom slayer. Doom guy, doom slayer, whatever floats your boat. The Icon of Sin. Destroy all the Icon of Sin's armor pieces to disable its protective energy shell. Shooting the exposed energy shells deal. Shooting exposed energy cell uh, shell does deals no damage. So once you once you've um once you've gotten that gotten that part, move on. You can't just keep hitting the same area. You've gotta you've gotta hit multiple areas. Um, this boss fight, I hated this boss fight uh, when I originally played it. I really hated it. Like, it took forever to do. And there was a lot of yelling, a lot of swearing. It, 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 was, it, was, uh, it was bad. But I've long since mastered how to do this fight. Well, not really mastered, but I know how to do it better now, and uh, I sh uh, it, it was at the point where I, uh, when I accidentally played this on, shit, shit, ow, oh, fuck, that does so much damage. Got to the point where, uh, by the way, that is the, w this is, this is probably where I use the, um, ow, piss off. This is probably where I use the crucible the most, just because uh, it uh, like when these guys show up, uh, it make it, it it's just easier to crucible them, and I'm pretty sure crucible ammo infinitely spawns. 90% certain on that. Um, but we've cracked half of his health bar. Uh, it, it, he doesn't. He does get more difficult as the fight goes on, but. Ow! I was up in the air. That. Avoided me. I won't complain. I ain't complaining. Oh shitesa. I also recommend using the BFG on occasion. Um when you just have like a shit ton of dudes. Also blood punch re uh, recharges, obviously. Shield. Shield is your best friend. Glitch hat. There's a, a lighting glitch there. Okay, give me ammo. Yeah, due to the wonky collision, when he punches you, it like 100% will punch you back and pull you forward, and that's another reason I really hated this fucking fight. Oh god, the shield is so much your best friend. It will protect you from that from from that punch and if you can whip it out when he's doing that you will save yourself so much f fucking headache trust me as someone who has gotten many headaches because of this boss fight it will save you from headache got a dread knight over there i don't want to deal with you Use the uh, a chain gun shield's actually really good to use here, especially if you have it mastered, because it'll like it, obviously it'll launch just a uh, a thing at him, and he can fuck. Chainsaw, just give me more ammo. Oh come on. Um, actually, I should go ahead and use this. Oh, thank God, it hit something. Oh, fuck. That was probably a bad time to do it. Grab the soul sphere. I don't care. I try and save that for emergencies, but... Shit, 
shit. He's raining down meteors. Or no, he's not. He was spawning different guys. Really could have used the chainsaw there. Uh, fodder. There we go. Come on, we are so close. We just have a little bit more damage on a couple of his body parts. Ow. Shit. Grab that. Oh, God, that scared me. I thought I was screwed. Oh, my heart's pounding. Okay, got that one. Okay, last piece. The easiest one of all. Chainsaw. Dash. Run. Move. I don't care. Get out of the fucking way. Such riveting commentary. There we go. It should be everything. Sometimes it takes a second to register, but it should be everything. Just survive. All you gotta do is survive now. Meteors. Grab any crucible charges you need. Grab ammo. Grab everything. Chainsaw again, just for good measure. We are full. Yes, we are full. Let's head through and like you said, finish this fight. The second fight is a little bit easier in my opinion than that first section. It's a little bit easier. Ah, uh, what in the fuck? All right. Guess he wanted to open with a statement. I got a statement too. It's called fuck off. All right, you can destroy a body part each with your BFG shot blast. You can also do that in the first round of this fight. And it's uh it's I mean, it's up to you if you want to do that. Um I'm I personally like to save my BFG ammo um for they give you a couple rounds of it here, so it's not like they don't want you to use it. They definitely do. Um, but I usually save it for, like, when there's a... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Ow, what the hell was... Oh, of course it was Baron of Hell. You know what? Where are you? Come on, big boy. It was probably a waste, but whatever. Grab a health pack. Plenty of BFG ammo here. Ow, I love it when that happens. I absolutely love it when that happens. Like, how was I supposed to know you were about to do that? I just show up and bam. Oh, fuck. Come on, get iframes. Oh, fuck off. Okay, where are you? What the fuck? I really hate that, like, the because of the wonky, or it's not really wonky, but just because of the collision or how, how things hit you, you just fly all over the fucking place. Oh my. Why do you have to follow me? You weren't there five seconds ago. What the fuck? Um, but something that the, uh, I haven't, I don't think I've made note of this. Yeah, God damn it. What the hell? I was flying all over the place because he kept hitting the fucking. Ah. Oh my. Hmm. Of course he had to do, of course. There's so much like terrain and like. Ah, 
Um, but they wanted uh, something that they wanted to kind of emphasize and focus on um, was the destructible demons. That's that or not not focus on in terms of gameplay, but something that they wanted uh, to uh, something to be relevant uh, and uh, prevalent. I guess I should say in this game is um, is the destructible demons. As, as you've seen, the more damage you do to a demon, the more bits fly off, and uh, you can see kind of visually how much damage you're doing uh, to the enemy and you can tell when they're almost dead oh come on what the fuck what happened where'd my shield go oh I had that and I would have pulled out the crucible but it's so damn slow to pull out uh this wouldn't be a problem if I could fucking, if I could hit him, but like, oh, piss off. Everything that you're doing, uh, ev like every moment, any chance you possibly have to do something, he's always doing something or there's fucking demons to deal with. What the fuck? Thank you, fucking Pinky. Seriously, and you're just... Uh, I really hate how fast your health can just go. You, you spend so much time trying to fix your health bar, and then in one foul swoop, without warning, just... And there it goes. Yeah, see, like that. Holy shit. The health, the, the bar must have, like, just ran out right before it, it got to me. He's like, you got a, you got a shield bash? I got one too. Um, but what I was saying about the destructible demons is, is uh, they, they wanted to emphasize that in this last boss fight here. Um, and as you can tell, obviously, you know, more of its body is being destroyed. The only advice I have when he's doing this, come down here. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where'd you come from? He literally teleported right in front of me. Where the fuck did you come from? Whatever. Try this again, I guess. Oh, yeah, Baron of Hell. That's definitely the first thing I want to see when I wake up in the fucking morning. You gotta be fucking. What the fuck hit me? Like, I wouldn't have an issue with it if I wasn't bouncing all over the fucking arena for no goddamn reason. What the fuck? Like, why do I take that much fucking damage in the air? What is hitting me? Something I can't fucking see, apparently. I love that he summons demons, like, in the original... Oh my god. What the fuck is hitting me? Seriously. Mm -hmm. What the fuck hit me? I'm s I hate dying for no fucking reason. And he's just constantly. I'm going to move to the next area. Just fireballs. Endless fucking fireballs. Do you have a point where you're not fucking hitting me with something or waving those fucking arms around, making me bounce all over the place? I've had much easier times with this boss. What was fucking behind me, like, hitting me? Was it the fucking Cybermank? Oh my... I, I can't fucking move. I legitimately can't move. Jesus. 
fuck it. Seriously? Okay, you know what? Just kill me. Just fucking end me. It was bouncing me to- Of course, as soon as I spawn! I hate this fucking fight! This is a death montage again, because I'm not fucking doing this. For fuck's sake! God damn it! What the fuck? Come on! No! What? You finally spawned something different and it fuck you! Oh my god! Oh my god. I'm fucking tired of this. Holy crap, maybe now I can- I'll actually fucking do this. I think you guys have seen the death montage. I've been at this for way longer than I should be. Oh, you got- Really? <clears throat> he moved his fucking arm. Don't even think about it. Use the cover. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Grab some ammo, I guess. <clears throat> no! Fuck off. Don't move. Move. Get the fuck. I am not dealing with you! That is a hard fucking no. I am not dealing with his ass. Yeah, you better fucking despawn, I swear to god. Where the hell are you? I do Seriously? Come on! You popped up right fucking there. You had to. You just effing had to. 
Swear to God, you better. Son of a. Stop launching me! Jesus Christ. Oh my. I really wish destroying his head would, like, stop him from being able to do that, but it doesn't. Oh, come on. No. Just please, no. Come on. I just want to finish this. I just want to fucking finish this. Oh, my God. It's his two arms that are left. I think. I think that's it. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, it's, a, it, <clears throat> it's two of his arms and something. Oh my god. I can't ever do my fucking combo because he won't stop switching. Oh my god. Seriously? And what keeps hitting me? God damn it. He just does this shit forever. Final phases of this fight are just so annoying. This fight is annoying, to be fair. I don't know if I'm just missing. God damn it, would you stop fucking spawning those guys? And doing that meteor attack, forcing me down here. <clears throat> oh my. Yeah, how did I know one of those bastards was going to spawn right fucking there? What is shooting at me? This fucking hopping back and forth motherfucker just spraying rockets. Oh my god. Seven of eight. What's the... Oh, I didn't destroy this arm completely. There. That's it. Done. Just survive. Bam. Holy shit. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Doom Eternal. That fight was eternal, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> and yes, that is the skin I went with. Why? Because that's the skin I got for pre-ordering the Deluxe Edition. Um, and I wanted to show it off for the final level. Because it's basically, it's basically an on-fire version of the default skin. It's called the Demonic Slayer. Broke off the hilt inside the Titan so that it would always be dead. Right in its brain. And we walk away like a badass. And Earth has been cleansed. Yes, it is. And that couldn't be more true, because there's a lot of fighting in the uh, there, there. There's uh, a lot of fighting in the DLC. DLC's hard. <clears throat> well, it's challenging. More challenging. It was hard when I first played it, believe me. In memory of Stephen Ash. Not sure what that's about, but if uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that means he passed, and I'm sorry to hear that. Um, but game director Hugo Martin, everyone in... Uh, Everyone who worked on this game, like, thank you, obviously. Uh, this game is fantastic. I, I, I'll i play it eternally. Um, not gonna go through the whole credits, because I don't want another Doom Eternal, or uh, Doom 2016 situation. Um, thank you to everyone who, who made the game. Uh, it means a lot, and yeah. <clears throat>
I'm not trying to undersell them at all, but I don't also don't want to be staring at credits for like 20 minutes. But that is it for uh, Doom Eternal. And um, let's head back to our Fortress of Doom here. Uh, Cause I'm gonna show off. I'm gonna show off the man cave. I was saving this for the very end of the playthrough. The oh, <laughs> and he still plays that that voice clip. Apparently, congratulations! You have beaten Doom Eternal. You can now explore the Fortress of Doom or acquire any items you missed through uh, mission select. You could have done that at any point in time during the campaign, as I said. You can also test your abilities by playing our competitive battle mode or jumping into master levels, which are challenging remixes of campaign missions designed to truly test your mastery. I'll cover mastery levels at some point, too. New master levels are added regularly, so be sure to check back often. Um, I might, yeah, last dark broadcast. What will hopefully be our final broadcast to all the people of Earth, to anyone listening. The demonic horde has been defeated. The beast identified yes, by it has. scientists as the icon of sin was destroyed earlier today by the slayer himself. And with it, the majority of the demonic force has dispersed. With the threat decreased, yep. it is important now more than ever that we come together. There is hope. The human race will persevere. Many of the survivors believe the Slayer to be a godlike figure in what was a battle between good and evil of biblical proportions. As humanity struggles to You're not wrong, but it, this is only scratching the surface of what the DLC will do. But his whereabouts remain unknown. I'm up here. I'm just chilling. Honestly, if I could just chill in space and I had like or ch just chill somewhere and uh, no one would bother me. No one knew where I was. I would have internet and electricity and all that. I think I'd be happy. Anyway, uh, the four master levels available right now are cultist base. Uh, why haven't I done that on a, on ultra violence yet? Hmm. But it, it's not my favorite level, so that's probably why. Um, I haven't done that on ultra violence yet. And I almost completed that. But I basically I got to the end, but uh, the I got to the very end, but it didn't like save and the console restarted. And so I'm like, oh, my God, I'll play through this again at some point. But anyway, uh, four master levels and there's two more coming. Uh, one from that's from DLC part two. And uh, the other one is Mars Core and that they're both coming in the next uh, update, I believe. Um, so, yeah, uh Mission select. Let's just uh, view our accomplishments here. Everything is uh, completed with the exception of a few Sentinel battery challenges, but oh well. All the records are in here. All of the... Ah, ah, oh, oh, it's just the shine. That was weird. I thought it was like... I thought it vanished. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, that's where it is. The other cheat code's down there. You know what? To finish off this playthrough, let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, let's head to the man cave first. The Doom Slayer's man cave. All the weapons you've acquired. The crucible, everything. You can cut uh, all the toys you've acquired. And there's the icon of sin, even though you never, even though we didn't never picked it up, but. The, uh, you can come back. You can come through here as you play through the game and, and grab stuff and see uh, your progress. Like uh, you, you'll start to see toys show up. Um, but this is what it looks like at Endgame. He still got what he still got the what, the Doom figure from the last game, I think. Um, <clears throat> there's the old suit. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, Doom Doom guy has like a killer PC. <clears throat> and over here, uh, if you put in the... Oh, yeah, I need all the Chico's to do that. And if you put in the right code here, you can play the original Doom 1 and Doom 2 completely on this computer right here. Uh, I will actually show that off because I'm about to go grab that other cheat code. Um, if only I could read all, phys all uh, 
codex is grabbed. Um, and okay, we gotta head out here. We gotta head, yeah. Yes, we can actually head outside, and there's another poster. We can actually head outside here, and uh, I think I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it. Uh, I think it is actually. Where is it? Yeah. Oh god, there it is. Come down here. All runes unlocked. That's the last, uh, that, that, that'll, that, that's, well, my last cheat code. Teleport you up here. And, uh, that, I believe, is the classic, or not classic, but the Praetor suit from Doom, uh, 2016. Uh, you can unlock that with your Sentinel batteries if you want. Again, I think the rest of this is just cosmetics. Uh, or, uh, well, it's not upgrades, I can tell you that. Um, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead back and head back to our man cave so I can show this off. And yeah, there's the original Doom. Boots up. And we can literally play original Doom. You can't aim up or down. You can only aim side to side. Doesn't move as fast as the original, I don't think. But yeah, we have Doom. Classic Doom. Uh, but I won't spend too much time on this. Uh, I'll, I'll use this as my outro. Thank you all for watching. This has been Crazy Cube Dude with uh, Doom... Uh, Doom 26, or Doom, not Doom 2016, Doom Eternal, and, uh, yeah, uh, I had a lot of fun playing this game, sorry it took, like, so long for it to all come out, just, no excuses, really, um, but look forward to the DLC campaigns when I get to them, um, look forward to the master levels when I get to those, maybe I'll do Mars Core Master Level when that gets released, uh, I won't do any DLC stuff yet until I cover the DLC. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Uh, stay tuned for uh, uh, the the end of the video here, uh, the end outro where I um, uh, where I show you the rest of the suits. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. But for now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next playthrough, uh, which I gotta. I'm I'm just gonna cover Colors Ultimate really quick because that just came out. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then moving on to Metroid. So, there we go. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody. All right, guys. Hi. At the, here at the end of the playthrough, um, as promised, I'm going to show off all the skins I have. That's the default, like I said. Uh, I wore that one. I don't think I wore that one. Uh, I wore that one. Didn't wear this one. Um, I wore that one. Didn't wear that one. I don't like the gold on that, to be fair. Uh, Silver Slayer. Wore that one. I wore that one. Uh, didn't wear that one. Wore that one. Wore that one. Obviously, I wore that one. Uh, Ember. Wore that one. Didn't ri- uh, didn't- Uh... Didn't wear that one. Wore that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Nope. Wore that one. I wore... Yeah, I wore that one. A lot of Keen Guy uh, references here. It's kind of funny. Maker Slayer. I kind of like this one, too. Um, of the, of the suits like that. Patriot. Silver Dollar. Viridian. I like, I kinda like this one too. And, uh, that's it. That's all I have. Um, I don't have, like, a lot of suits, but, you know, I have enough. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. So, now, thank y'all for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.